right, welcome. Good morning, everybody, to another edition of the Homie Picks. We got me. I'm back after a week off. Well, I guess two weeks because we had we all had a bye bye week, and then I had another week. Um, we got me. We got Ben. You got Lou, my two esteemed co-hosts. What's going on, brothers? What's good, sir? Good to have you back. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Good to see you. You went, back. You went, you you went perfect last week. <laughs> you went perfect last week. So you've been perfect two weeks. We got to break that streak. I definitely want to um, say great job last week, fellas. Without me, um, I had uh, I had my own personal uh, things I was going through, and y'all definitely held down the show. Y'all definitely held it down. Um, I loved watching it. It was awesome. Um, but we here this week. Um, ben, you had a rough one, it looks like. Yes, I did. Very <laughs> rough one. You had a pretty, pretty rough one. Um, Lou, you had a good week. Um, and let's see how let's see how you do this week, though. <laughs> ben has had some points today. He had a high point after that. He, he, this might be his bounce back. <laughs> we'll see. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, first one, um, it's the one o'clock game. Um, my team versus your team, Ben. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right, right. We start off right with the heavy hitter. <laughs> Baltimore at Indy. Indy is, sorry, Baltimore is a one and a half point favorite. Um, so being that this is me versus you, Lou, you out of this. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be the, I'll be the tiebreaker at the end of the day. <laughs> Um, since I haven't gone in two weeks, I guess I'll start off. Go ahead, go ahead. I, I was going to pick Ravens. Um, I think after okay. dropping that against Pittsburgh, I, I smelled, I smelled a lot of trouble for your boys. Um, <laughs> good luck handling Lamar and the boys. Um, if I read this right, I think Des Bryant's coming back. Okay. Yes, he's at Kubiak, yeah. Um, yeah, man, uh, get your popcorn ready. <laughs> <laughs> that's going, that's going to be my pick. Uh, Ben, what you got, man? Uh, this was tough for me. Uh, I want to say Baltimore, I think they should win, but Lamar hasn't been playing well. Indy does have a defense. It's tough. This one's tough for me. <laughs> Uh, and I've had rough weeks too, so <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm but leaning on Indy on this one. I I think they 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 can pull this one off. They they can get enough pressure to Lamar. Uh, I I really the 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 if they can get a lead and they can keep the lead, they should be all right. Both more doesn't play well from behind, so. Yeah, I, I I think we can pull it off. A little bit of an upset there, but I'm I'm taking my chances with Indy. I was taking a little bit of a home okay. So you know more than leaning, cause that's what I'm doing right now. You were leaning, so I I was leaning for you. <laughs> <laughs> Normal, all right, all right. So we got one, two, Lou, tiebreaker, please. Ooh, ooh, see this one. I've been scratching my head thinking about this game all day. Baltimore. Still hasn't proven they could beat a team with a winning record. Um, they beat the team they're supposed to beat. You know, they, they lost to Pittsburgh pretty handily last week. Um, as much as I want to see them have a bounce back game, I'm going Colts here. Mm. I'm, I'm taking the Colts. I, I think that they make a statement. I think Philip Rivers says, Remember who I am, um, and, and throws his name in the hat for comeback player of the year. <laughs> uh, for a statement win against Baltimore. So uh, I'm, I'm taking Indy. Well, you know, fun fact, the last time the Ravens did face Phillip Rivers, we lost. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you another fun fact that I learned. Apparently, teams that play Pittsburgh, the next game that they play, they usually play behind. Yeah. So I'm, I'm counting on that. <laughs> <laughs> fun fact. Lamar ain't losing, but <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Uh, <laughs> that leads us to our second game. We got Seattle versus Buffalo at Buffalo. Uh, currently at the time of recording, Seattle is a three-point favorite, not three and a half, not two and a half. Three-point favorite. That's a field goal. Um, nice pick. Uh, let's see. I start off last. Ben, hit us off with this one, man. All right. This one, I think, is pretty easy for me. This one, I'm going with Seattle. I think they'll cover easy. They they haven't had any trouble. You know, going to the East Coast to play actually they play better against East Coast teams for some reason. Uh, so and on top of that, um, Allen is struggling right now. He's not. He hasn't been playing well. So and the Buffalo defense, as good as it was, it hasn't been what it was in last year. It, they give up a lot of points. I, I don't see them stopping Lafayette in the pass. So I think Seattle wins this one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lou, what you thinking? Uh, I'm rolling with Russell Wilson and the boys. Uh, one name, DK Metcalf, is playing out of his mind right now. Um, guy can't be touched, can't be stopped, um, and no one's sh- no one's really shown me they can beat uh, the Seahawks. You know, Arizona may have won the game, but I think Seattle lost that game more than Arizona won it. Um, so, in my eyes, and, until somebody wakes up and, and and knocks Seattle off their horse, uh, I'm riding with them. That's a, that's a good pick. Um, we all on Seattle. Um, I, I would say the only person who can beat DK Metcalf is himself because since he dropped that football, yeah, <laughs> his end zone, he has learned to hold on and actually yes. not give up easy plays like that. Sometimes you need that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure Pete Carroll and Russ got in his ass about that. Well, maybe Sierra did because I don't see Russell. Get a lot of people like that, so maybe CC did. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I really Seattle has played really good on the road, they played good coming to the east. Um, and then they've, they've gone as far south as Miami, now they're going as they're going north to, to Buffalo. Um, yeah, these boys are on fire. Um, I mean, even though they did have that let down against Arizona, Arizona is a good team. That division is tough this year. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't see Seattle dropping this one. Buffalo, unlike years past, they don't need to feel like every game is is like a clincher because right, right. The Patriots aren't what they used to be. Right. The Jets Buffalo, are there, yeah, so – Dude, the Jets are the, <laughs> the Jets. Are the Jets. The airlines are the airlines. So, because that's yeah. that's what they are right now. They, like the the Jets are more like spirit. So, <laughs> oh, shit. So, <laughs> yeah. 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 shout Sorry, out to you, Jets, Jets fans. fans watching. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to all the fans watching, all the teams. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you had nothing to worry about with the Jets. Um, Miami is playing uh, pretty good ball. Uh, the Patriots are just average. So. But Buffalo should have this this division locked up so they can drop this one and they'll be all right. Um, speaking of uh, divisions and being all right, yeah, at least our next one, we got Vegas at the Chargers. Currently right now, the Chargers are a one and a half point favorite. Um, I said that right. The Tyrod Taylor-less Chargers led by a rookie. Are a one and a half point favorite over a Steam Raiders team, but you know, hey, this is this 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 is the, the Osmakers have have a reason for this. So, um, as we started off with Ben, uh, sorry, we went, yeah, we went Ben last to Lou. What you think? Uh, so, so I'm gonna call this the what the fuck game of the week. Okay. Um, because I opened the, I opened this line earlier and it was a dead even zero. <laughs> um, it actually went up a point and a half. Um, so I really don't know what to think. It, it really depends on which Raiders team shows up. Um, it really does. I, I think Justin Herbert is is playing for the rookie of the year title. Um, kids play phenomenal. Uh, one and a half is this is a toss em up game. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna flip a coin. And I'm gonna say the Chargers. I'm gonna take the Chargers on this. Um, I, I don't think. The Raiders are preparing well for games. 
Um, they literally playing like they have a Vegas hangover um, every every other game. So I, I'm taking the charges on, on the strength that Justin Herbert is trying to get his name out there. That's a that's a fair point. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I know Herbert's doing good. Her, Her Herbert's um he's balling and he's taking full advantage of the fact that there is no there is no other quarterback but him. Um, because Tyrod was a starter for all of five seconds. Um, <laughs> so, but I just can't get past the Raiders, and they can score. And even though the Chargers can stop teams, um, I mean, well, they haven't they haven't had the best of records, but they're a pretty good team regardless. Um, yeah, I just I just can't say I can't see. The Raiders uh, slacking off on this one only because they are a division rival. Also, um, even though Vegas plays a hell of a lot better at home, um, they can score, and that's and that's what scares me. You know, against going against um, the Chargers, even though um, Chargers play fairly good at home, but I just I just I just see their their the offense of, of Oakland. Sorry. Las Vegas. <laughs> Vegas. I'm still trying to. I'm still, I'm still trying to remember they play in a different state. You know, um, I, was, I, I, I see just the, the Raiders just smoking them. Ben, what you think, man? I'm gonna have to go with you. Um, I don't know if they'll smoke them, but I think Vegas will pull away with the win. I just don't trust the Chargers right now. They they've gotten leads and they've blown every lead they've had. I don't know if Anthony Newman is a coach for them. They definitely have the quarterback. The boy can ball. Like, there's no doubt about that. But I just don't see them holding on to leads right now. And like you said, Vegas can score. And Gruden, is, he's a good coach. So uh, I'll give the advantage to Vegas on this one. Yeah, that sucks about Anthony Lynn. Like, I mean, I, I think he has potential to have a winning team is – he just has terrible luck with this team. I don't know, but I mean, like, come on. Maybe he's so to like last four games they lost sixteen point leads, like yeah. in the fourth quarter. <laughs> come on. Yeah. So maybe he needs to go yeah. to a coordinator position or something like that. But I don't like, know, but something's not right there. <laughs> not working out. Like they had I me. Mean, yeah, you're right. Like they had it against they had it against um, Kansas City. They had it against. The uh, the Saints, when well, the Saints are playing like total garbage, mm-hmm. um, I mean they had it with Tampa. Yeah, yeah, yeah they had it <laughs> Tampa. Whoop they do, they beat the Jaguars, but that's the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, it's, that's that's the thing. I just can't trust them. They just I don't know. There's something off there. They they just can't hold on to a lead. Yeah. They're just inept, but hopefully not as inept as the next teams. Uh, he got <laughs> Miami versus Arizona. Uh, Arizona is a three and a half point favorite at, um, against them, uh, playing at home. So I am thinking I can't trust Arizona. And even though Arizona plays pretty good, uh, my heart is telling me Miami. I don't know why. I don't really put my finger on it. <laughs> but I'm gonna go with Miami. <laughs> yeah. I got nothing else to say. My heart just tells me <laughs> to go with that. Uh, uh, yeah, what you think? No, no, no. Sorry, Lou, Lou, Lou. What you got? What you got? All right. So yeah, this is another one. Uh, it, it's gonna come down to whoever's quarterback can get away from the other team's defense. At the end of the day, uh, they both runners. Kyler Murray, two years, second year in. Tula Tailoa or Tula Tamaloa, whatever, how you say it. The second house. game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hakuna Matata, second <laughs> game of the of the year. I'm going to take Arizona on the strength that um, Tyler Murray can't lose to a rookie. Like, he just beat Russell, West, you know, Russell Wilson. Came up, coming off a bye. Like, you, you can't lose to, to a rookie. So, I'm taking Arizona – um, three and a half, they could definitely win, cover that. So, definitely take Arizona. Yeah. 
I'm with you on this one. Dude. I'm, I'm taking Arizona as well. I think they'll cover that. Uh, uh, Miami's traveling out to Arizona. Uh, I was not impressed by Tua in the first game. Granted, maybe it was swiftly that way. They didn't have him do much. But in this game, he's going to have to try and do something. Um, he's going to have to throw the ball a little bit more, I feel. Uh, and I didn't see anything like, wow from his first start. So uh, uh, Tyler's proven, you know, he, he's really good. He, he can get away from the defense. So I, I think I was going on this one. Yes, I, I can see that. Um, I mean, look, I mean, that could be a throwaway pick for me, but hopefully it's not. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, yeah, I, I definitely see, um, you know, um, the Rocks people, you know, doing some things you know, inside this game. The mowing. Just like the rock people, not being racist, but <laughs> um, but Tua, I mean, I mean, but Tua, you know, he he's coming, he's, he's coming into a, a really nice Arizona team, um, but I think his, I think his defense is you know, probably going to hold him down. They Miami has done some pretty nice things this year, um, even though they did beat um, a broken down um, 49ers team. Um, Time, but how oh, they destroyed them, flat out. <laughs> but even a bad team sometimes can't score against a good team, regardless. Even if they, even they got like the second string people in there. But now you got to the, you know, we went from the from the uh, the, um, the young man's bowl to the old man geriatric bowl. You got <laughs> old man River <laughs> versus old man Brady. The in, in the battle of the. Best forty-year-old wins. Um, so, Lou, what you thinking, man? So Sunday night game, Breeze versus Brady. I don't know if Michael Thomas is Michael Thomas is scheduled to play. I don't know. He need to get drop that diva role already. Um, the Saints need him. Um, Tom is playing out of his mind right now. Um, that 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 TV twelve is really working for him. Um, it's a it's a nationally televised game. His first of the of the season. I think Tom comes out um, and states his claim on you know the king of quarterback. Uh, for right now, uh, I'm taking I'm taking Tampa Bay. Then, yeah, I'm taking Tampa in this one too. The bench game from the first game of the season. Uh, Tampa Bay is playing much better. New Orleans isn't, I, I would, I'm going to say, like a, a false team. Like their record is deceiving. They have a winning record, but they barely won. Like they barely beat out the Chargers. They, they barely beat out uh, the, the other teams that they've won. And it's been narrow margins of victory. Brees can hardly throw past 20 yards. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't see them. I don't think he's going to be able to keep up with Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is going to play motivated. Their defense is really good right now. I, I don't see them getting this one. Yeah, I haven't seen anything from New Orleans to say that they got this game. Um, it's uh, it's a division rivalry game, so that should add some fire um, for Tom because literally it's the first time going against New Orleans like this. Um, New Orleans has played Tampa Bay as many times as possible. Um, but I don't think the man on the bench, Jameis Winston, can even help them <laughs> and figure out a scheme. <laughs> so right. um, you know, it's, I just haven't seen much from New Orleans. I've picked them before. Um, I might not game against the Raiders. Um, they completely showed who they are. The words of Danny Green. They are who we thought they were. <laughs> oh, um, I'm going to go with the double entendre, TB, uh, Tampa Bay, Tom Brady. I just can't see them. Um, I can't see them losing, especially at home. Um, they have, but I don't see them losing to New Orleans. Uh, I agree with you, Lou. He needs, um, Michael Thomas needs to drop that diva role. But, I mean, look. I don't know what's going on down there in the dirty south like that. Um, Cause I know he practiced last week, but he didn't even travel with the team. Right. For that last game. So that, 
I mean, I've heard other pundits on, on, on radio and talk say it does sound like something is going on down there. Um, so it's not looking, not looking like a, a good year for uh, New Orleans. If anything, it might be a fire sale. Um, anybody uh, uh, Camara, uh, the fantasy team? I, I think he's you know, the only functioning keeper. I, I believe um, Drew, uh, uh, Drew is hurt, I think, also. He has a little uh, shoulder injury. He didn't practice during the week, so we might see James Winston out there. <laughs> you never know. Shit, you know that he likes throw. He, he's gonna throw the Tampa Bay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I feel saying we got Winston out there. He, he's gonna forget what team he's playing for again. <laughs> I mean, for him, it won't be an interception. It was just <laughs> the home team. Right, right, right. He <laughs> might actually get it right this yeah. time. So um, that that's also something to consider. I mean, it's not 100 percent that he's out, but he is hurt on top of that. So. And then he have I sir, he had LASIK surgery, right, to get his corrective vision. Better? Yeah. Look, I guess you can see, but you know, it's fine. You can see but the arm is not getting it there. <laughs> you can see how far it is. Like, damn, I, I'm just not working. <laughs> I hope you can see that Microsoft Surface that they got showing all the plays that uh <laughs> that's going on. Cause that's the only kind of action he's playing. Maybe he has a um uh um 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 you know what? He, he should have gotten a, a colorblind test. And that's what he should have gotten. <laughs> Mixing up the team colors. That's probably what's happening to the poor boy. <laughs> like, I'm getting it. Oh, no, that's not my team, right? My bad. <laughs> well, my man should get some more crab legs. Oh, that's... <laughs> I mean, he, he's talented. I mean, don't get me wrong. He can, he can throw it, but he just throws it to the wrong team the wrong at the time. <laughs> My man was an ESPN special last year. He was 30 for 30, man. But well, he had 5,000 yards. Come on, 5,000 yards, like uh, 30 plus home um, touchdowns. The problem is, he is, is that the, the opposite team's got <laughs> touchdowns too. That's the problem. We, the first 30, he, was good. he got another 21 unaccounted for. <laughs> the first 30 was good. It was that second 30 that was bad. 30. Right, right. The problem. So. <laughs> But um, and that's you can't all go. You can't go 500 as a quarterback. Don't pass. <laughs> you know, but that's all we got for y'all this week. Um, actually, that is really all we got. Five to five, <laughs> five games. But um, another viewer, the president, not Trump, not Biden. Um, a viewer, the Trump, uh, the president. He's a Bears fan. He always says, since whenever I mention Chicago on this on on this show. They happen to lose, so I mean, oh, shit. Right now. We, um, they got Chicago Tennessee. playing. They play Tennessee, right? <laughs> they got Tennessee. Tennessee. Tennessee's a actually, half point favorite. Let's go, Chicago. I, actually, <laughs> I like Chicago in this one, actually. I I think See? Chicago covers. I'm not saying got, they win. <laughs> I think they cover. <laughs> now you got two Chicago votes. <laughs> Because, look, Tennessee has no pass rush. And to be fair, Foles has faced tough, tough defenses. So this is going to be actually a little bit easier week for him, <laughs> technically speaking. So I, I can see them covering, at least covering the points. They were like six and a half, right? Six. Yep, six and a half. You know what, yeah. fuck it. Lou, what you thinking about that one, man? man? I'm trying to stay on the president's good side. I don't even know who he is. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep his team up out of my mouth. No, but... <laughs> But uh, Derrick Henry is a beast. Um, I don't think anyone's gonna. I mean, I gotta take Tennessee. Uh, I take Tennessee six and a half. I think they can win that by touchdown. Look at that! Look at that! Tennessee, Chicago, Chicago. Let's go, Chicago! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! All right, everybody. Hear about this <laughs> <laughs> it's been a good week. Um, it's good to be back. Um, again, fellas, I did a great job last week, and let's keep it rolling. All right. All right, For everybody watching. I hope y'all have a good day. Safe, uh, safe picks. Safe, safe everything. Hope everyone has a good week. Don't party too hard because of uh, cause, cause, cause the elections are over for the most part. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, remember, this all for entertainment purposes. It's only entertainment. And um, we'll come back after the next. Tell us if we're wrong. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs>
All of us are going to have a good week. Someone's going to have a bad week. So. That's right. That is havoc. This is going to happen. <laughs> part, of, part of the show. <laughs> we all can be perfect, man. <laughs> all right, y'all. I'll, I'll catch y'all.